Hello everybody, my name is Zupub, and we're about to do some artifact drafting. Artifact is the beta, closed beta uh, for Dota 2, the trading card game. Um, I've been playing 1.0 for a while, now I'm playing 2.0, and it's in the closed beta. It's a little rough around the edges, but I really like the game so far. I think it's really strategic, I think there's a lot of thought, and I am excited to play some more matches tonight. I didn't play matches yesterday, I was so sad. But I got some classic music in the background. I'll try to keep a commentary going on what I'm thinking. I know not many people have played this game, so I'll try to keep it contextual for everybody. Contextual. Um, but yeah, the game's a lot of fun. If it finds a match. I've started to unlock rare cards. You start to get rare cards around level 30. But you can see I already have three rare heroes. I really like Tidehunter. I've actually used him a lot. I've had him for a while for some reason. Um, Tiny I like a lot. I haven't gotten to play Orc Warden much. He seems kind of interesting. Combat. Enchant Tower. Deal one damage to both towers per charge, then add a charge. Weird. It's weird that it does damage to your own tower. It could like just as easily benefit deal damage to both towers. Interesting. Anyway, I don't the thing is you can't really pick your deck, so those cards don't really matter as much to understand. The heroes are what you really need to understand. And I'm here I would probably pick Sorlacon. You pick Pure Point. Pure Point's decent. I like Sorlacon here. Oh, and I'm a pretty big fan of Shadow Fiend. I also like Ursa. It's a tough pick. I think I like Shadow Fiend against a blue, but he could counter pick against a Shadow Fiend pretty easy. Can't counter pick against. I think I'm going to pick the Ursa. I like Shadow Fiend, but he's easily countered. You kind of want to pick him later. Ursa's just a beast. You can't counter no Ursa. <laughs> I'm happy with this lineup right here. And I could switch out a red or black if I get something strong enough in another color. Like, Jamoy's pretty good. I would imagine he'd try to pick Jamoy. The problem I have with Jamoy is this card is kind of expensive. It's hard to use this card earlier, and then later it becomes, like, ineffective. It's okay, but... I don't know. And especially the, his card draw ability, it's just everything so slow. But Bloodseeker is great. I would love to take a Bloodseeker right here. Give me that Bloodseeker. The reason I like Bloodseeker is because he has five base attack, which is pretty rare in the set in general, which is why I really like Ursa. But the five base attack can also get increased pretty quickly from his passive. Like, I could actually put Bloodseeker in four. If I have three good laners, Sorlak Khan's a pretty good laner in the three position, in my opinion. Because getting that tower ramp's really good. Yeah, I think I have to pick Bloodseeker here. He's just too good. I'm not exactly sure what the lanes are here, but they're kind of flexible. I do think I like Ursa in the one, but we could put Ursa in the two if we don't get something super tanky. Because he has nothing strong enough to kill it. Um, Phantom Lancer is like an interesting pick here. So is the Sniper. Sniper, you can get your abilities. Hello, I see you talking there. Yo, what up? Yeah, I'm playing some uh, Artifact 2 closed beta. I'm in the closed beta for it. I really like this game. I got like 110 hours in a few weeks, but it's a draft mode right now. So I'm it's like a MOBA. I'm basically picking my team. I'm choosing between Sniper and Phantom Lancer. I don't know if you play Dota at all. Uh, let's see here. Phantom Lancer? Sniper. I think Sniper is a better role. I do like Phantom Lancer. I think I like Phantom Lancer a little better than Sniper. Sniper's good. It's just expensive. Assassinate's really expensive, and his uh, forward damage to a unit's good, but it's just slow. Anyway, yeah, posture check, hydrate. You're making good calls here, Go Gobi. Well, let me know if you have any questions about this game. It'll help me narrate it. But basically, right now, just picking a team, trying to make it strong. I know all these heroes and cards really well, because I have a lot of hours in the game already, I guess. Ooh, Axe is really good, too. So this is good. If I pick the Axe, I don't like Lich too much. Lich is a good five, and the uh, Chain Frost is actually devastating. Maybe I should Lich. I just kind of talk myself into Lich because I need a 5 hero. Usually the 5 heroes are weak and have abilities that have an active that takes a little bit. And that's exactly what Lich is. So let's just Lich. <gasps> Bounty Hunter. The plot thickens. Alright, I don't love Centaur. I do like Bounty Hunter. I don't know if you could tell by my reaction. <clears throat> Here's how, what I'm thinking here. 
Well, Bounty Hunter... The only thing that Bounty Hunter can't kill is Axe. So, because he can Axe in the 2, let's put Bounty Hunter in the 4. Sorlacon in the 3, doing the avoid from Axe. So, he's, Sorlacon's basically going to be avoiding Axe. Bloodseeker, we're cutting? He said, I don't think I can cut Bloodseeker over Sorlacon. That's kind of crazy. I think Bloodseeker's that good. Sorlacon is also good. Is it better than Bounty Hunter? Maybe just better than Lich? I don't know. <laughs> I kind of think Sorlacon might be better than Lich. Because I'm not a big fan of these five hero supporty things with nukes. I'd rather have Tower Ramp, basically, with Sorlacon. I think this team is just so strong, honestly. I put Phantom Lancer in the one, Ursa in the two. Like we talked about, nothing tanky. Sven is good against Phantom Lancer, but that's not really up. That's not really part of the debate here. It's more about these three guys, four guys really. These two are in Sorla. Yeah, this is fine. A Lich is good. That card, that six cost card, is really good. But again, I'm just not a, I'm not a big fan. It doesn't always like work out in your favor to do it like that. He's got a good team. His cards are good. Sven is good. Legion's good. Axe, he picked a good team. This is a good matchup. I'm excited. Let's go. All right, so Phantom Lancer I put in the avoid spot. He's going to try to Sven it. So let's put it right in the middle. Normally, I try to avoid it more, but yeah, yeah, Sven right in the middle. I knew it. <laughs> Dude, easy calls. Easy calls. All right, let's go. So Ursa, we just plop in the defense spot. That's the second deploy because they're going to be able to put a hero right on it. That's why you want a defensive hero. A second deploy. And now we have Bloodseeker here going on the Legion, which should kill it, which is good. So we have two kills right now. Good. That was a great uh, deploy phase. See how nothing of ours dies? He takes three damage from his four damage. Legion's doing five damage against the six damage, so it's only five damage. Everything is kind of like displayed. So these guys are dead. You can see with the little skull. They need to make it a little bigger. And I can play these cards now. So I think couriers can't get countered anymore because they're reclassifying them apparently. So I think you could just play them. So I'm, I'm just going to play it just to see. Just to draw them out. I could have passed, but... Anyway, overpower, I can do three attacks. So you want to use this on the Ursa because Ursa's passive has one minus one shield every time he attacks just like dota so um this ability synergizes with him it's a signature card i can also lance oh, i'll be an example to my men lancer illusion dude there's a lot of good things i could do here also acolyte of the forbidden is really good so now this guy's dying but i can't save him bloodseeker so they still trade so that's fine um his attack i think is permanent right yeah, God Strength. Um, these still don't trade. He has no mana now. I'm trying to... I think I want to at least get the Phantom Lancer illusion out. So I think I want to put that over here. And then he... The other Phantom Lancer is going to spawn one over here as well. So I'm just going to have a lot of Phantom Lancer illusions running around. I could have done the Echolite of the Forbidden Gate, but I feel like these Phantom Lancer illusions... See, they summon one more. So they just keep spawning. So that's, in this Phantom Lancer is going to spawn an illusion. So I feel like it's all pretty good. So there's no actions. He's going to have Axe deploy, but the Sven's going to be dead, the Legion's going to be dead. My Bloodseeker's going to be dead. So you can see we get gold according to kills. So I have one more kill in him, so I have five more gold. Plus I have Bounty Hunter coming out now, so he's going to be really good on this pier point. And I probably want to get Phase Boots for the Bounty Hunter. I could get Midas Greaves too and really ramp up my gold. Which is a fun play, but I think phase boots is more practical. Let's you move around in the lane. So we'll grab that. All right, so we'll put the bounty hunter with the Ursa over here. And remember, the color of the card you can only play that in the lane. So I can only play red and black cards in the third lane. I can only play red cards in the second lane right here. Here we go. This isn't so bad. All right, so I can shadow walk the bounty hunter. So that'll make him untargetable. And, uh, yeah, I can redeploy the Bounty Hunter. So I think I just want to play that right away to protect him. Because it makes him untargetable against blue spells over here. Also, I can phase boots the Phantom Lancer to save him. But he can just activate the active. But then he'll trade with me, basically, after this run. Because he's taking five damage. The phase boots will give me three heart. And I'm only taking two damage. So it'll basically allow me to live... Temple of War. 
Interesting card. Interesting card. Or do you meme as well? I I don't. Uh, I'm. <laughs> I don't know. That's an interesting question. What? Um, yeah, this is. I mean, I'm just playing the game. There's not a lot of memeing going on. The cards themselves have memes on them. Look. Oh no, this one has a shitty one. These guys do though. Angering me was the last mistake you made. All right, I'm just gonna f f f f boots right here. Cause he's gonna use this Temple of War, but that's fine. Cause we can still phase boost the Phantom Lance are off, basically. You All right, see, you Temple of War. I'm axe? dead now. Yeah, I do think I can escape Axe. That's the whole point of this card that I have. <laughs> so he said, "Do you think you could escape Axe?" Now I can Phantom Lancer talk back to him. <laughs> Some cards don't have chat wheels yet. Oh, he got phase boots. Oh, we put it on him. Interesting. Cool, combat phase. No, so so uh, bounty hunter is going to get pulled back. He's going to live, but I'm still going to have a bounty on it. So what I can do is redeploy the bounty hunter back on this guy. But he has phase boots, so he's going to be able to move. But then, uh, yeah, I'm not sure after that. I think we want to get demolishing warhammer to keep doing tower aggro. Tower aggro is very important. Maybe the most important thing in the game. You want to keep doing damage to towers. See how all my towers aren't getting damage? That's good. So I can basically Sorlock Khan way over here. Bounty Hunter on this dude again. He has phase boots though. I don't know if that's the best play. Yeah, it's fine. And then we'll Bloodseeker. Where? Here? No. I mean, Sorlock Khan's good alone over there. See all these creeps? Let's just put them with the Sorlock Khan, because we have all these lanes filled out. Here we go. Too easy. Perfect. Alright, so overpower on the Ursa. So we want to use overpower against the Zeus here. Because it kills the Zeus and lowers its armor drastically. Um, so let's do that. This thing has 10 bounty hunter now. Can I kill it? Oh, I can with the Horde Strider. Okay, so it really has nowhere to run. It's going to try to move here, and then I can Horde Strider in, so i got to save all that mana. So basically, I can't overpower. But I can Demolishing Warhammer. <laughs> Let's just pass right now. This round's going really good for me, basically. So he has to do actions. He has to at least use Phase Boots. And this keeps me Initiative. Initiative is basically um, allows you to play first next turn as long as you keep it. And there's ways to play with initiative. It's kind of like possession in the NBA. I always See, now he has initiative because I think this card gives him initiative. Yeah, quick cast, I think, is initiative. There we go. All right, they're doing tons of shit over there. <laughs> All right, so I was assuming he was going to try to move this guy. I still think he is. Oh, Horde Strider's five? Anyway, I can still Demolishing Warhammer the Ursa. There we go. So now Zeus is going to die, and this thing's going to die. He's going to try to use the Phase Boots, and then I'm just going to Horde Strider after him. Looks like he's not even worried about it, honestly. Let's pass. Again, we're taking no damage, doing a bunch of damage. Killing two of his dudes. So he had Three of his dudes, really. So we have to do something. He has to do something, rather. But this 4-4 dude's passive is doing two more attack to damage. Meme decks are bust? Well, this is all draft. The problem is I only like limited. Um, so I don't play constructed. But meme, I mean, it's hard. It's all constructed. You need to find someone who plays constructed. I need to kill this. Uh, sorry if I took a minute to respond. That wasn't too bad, two minutes. All right, so I could shadow walk the, the dude again. But I'm waiting for him to move this guy. What does he have? One mana? He's doing it now. Let's wait. Here we go. Here come the phase boots. We still have five mana. Just waiting. He has to use them. He has one mana. He has nothing else to do. There it goes. What? That wasn't what I was expecting. He still dies. Did he think he wouldn't die? Or We could overpower it too. And do more tower. Alright, let's do that. I like the overpower play now. Or Rebel Rouser. So I can put a Rebel Rouser over here. Or over here. And then get another one. I think I just want to overpower the Ursa. 
It'll kill this dude. There we go. And now I'll do way more damage to the tower. Because he has a uh, siege, basically. And I can still shadow walk the uh, bounty hunter. So it's perfect. <clears throat> so as long as I keep shadow walking bounty hunter, I keep getting bounties and more gold. So I just got 10 gold for killing that dude. Nice. Now I have 27 gold. He has 26, but he hasn't really bought anything, I don't think. Nice, so we're killing this tower. Next turn we're gonna have more deploy. Soul Lock Khan's just chilling. I think I wanna get four staff for the Soul Lock Khan. But I also have upgrade. So let's get upgrade. Cleave is good. Science an enemy and give it three. Or could. Can't upgrade anymore. Could get. For, uh, da, 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 da. Let's get Orchid. It's going to let us silence an enemy. It's rather expensive. I don't know if it's worth it, but we'll see. We'll have fun with it. All right, let's put that on the Zeus, and then next turn we'll deploy over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, assault ladders. This is great over here. Also, this Acolyte's not bad. Doing three damage. I could put it over here. Or we could just keep doing damage here. We're just basically going to ignore the mid. Okay. Yeah, I'm ignoring this land. I could silence this guy. So what you do, right? You put... Eh. We have enough mana, actually. To act like Assault and Orchid silence him. Alright, let's put on the Earth. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to do it like that. Oops. It doesn't matter. It's fine though, he has the active, and I can, actually this is good. Then I can Demolishing Warhammer on him. This is actually perfect. I didn't think about this. What a good plan. Hey, yeah, because I'm going to want to put these items over here. We're just going to silence the Zeus. <laughs> perfect. Zeus, you be silenced. So he can't play any of his blue cards now. <laughs> yeah, he's freaking out. Naked Grievel. All right, cool. So now I want to do all my damage over here. I don't care about this lane. So let's assault that. Oh, I got assault ladders here. Hmm. Now let's let's assault ladders over here and acolyte over here. There we go. So that does more damage because he's feeble now. Da -da -da. Oh, it does. That's not why. It's because of the damage over here. And then we'll Acolyte over here. And he'll do four more damage. Three plus one. He does have Retaliate. So these are both going to die, which is fine. Because I'll draw a card. Cool. Awesome. So these guys are doing damage over here. He's probably not even gonna worry about it. I think Bounty Hunter's gonna come back, right? Didn't I shadow walk him? Maybe not. Maybe it was a turn before, but that doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, I did deploy him never, last turn, Never mind. So I have 25 gold, we can upgrade for five. We'll still have 20. None of these three are like that crazy. Quick Strike's great. Root Boots are probably pretty good this round too. Root Boots have been really good. Four Staff's not bad either. Let's get Root Boots though. It's a play effect, right? So basically, if you play something on these guys, you could root them. So I could Phantom Lancer there and root and decay both of them. And then just Bloodseeker, like, over here. I could just Bloodseeker here with them, which would have been a reason to do that other thing next turn. But that's fine. Well, Bloodseeker over here. You know what? Never mind. We'll just Bloodseeker and Phantom Lancer over here. There we go. Perfect. Oh, another Assault Ladders? Perfect. Sorla is dying. Yeah, that's okay. She she did a good job doing a lot of damage over here. Tower damage is the most important. That's how you win the game. You got to get two towers. So basically, this tower is good. I know you know these things. I'm just narrating. I upload this stuff to YouTube. So please check out my YouTube. The link's under the Twitch there. But yeah, I upload all these drafts to YouTube. So I try to keep a narration going on what's going on for everybody. But I need to do more damage in this lane, and then I win. He could try to send stuff over here, but thankfully they nerfed all the TPs, because now you need to actually destroy a tower to get a TP. 
So movement and everything is just really strong. And Phantom Lancer has a, a, a move here. He can move around. Oh, and I have exchange weight. So I can reduce this dude's health to three. That's a good play. We won't let Stonehall down. Rebel Rouser. All right, root boots. All right, so we're gonna use that at the end there. Let's. I don't think that's a good play actually. Let's assault ladders. It's not a good play because it's not how we just need to focus tower damage. <laughs> More assault ladders. I think if I demolishing Warhammer, it'll do five more damage to the tower. And then I can Phantom Lancer off, move him over here. But he still has two mana. And this is the first lane next turn. So that's really great, obviously. And I'm going to have a TP. That's not going to help me so much, though. The TP. He is taking the second lane, but it, again, it doesn't matter. He needs to get two, and I'm already getting one. And this is down to 13, so this is going pretty good. Okay. Perfect. He used the phase boots, and so now we just phase boots right here, right? We could root boots first. All right, so the idea is we root boots first. All right? Ah, no, that's not going to help us right now, is it? Yes. Root boots. Root boots. Root boots. <laughs> so now if he has a movement card with red, he won't be able to use it. Like if he has something that moves him here, which I don't even know if that's possible. I think it is. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> but the only thing that can move is this guy. <laughs> Putting him here. Boom, and that's game. No, that's only 12, but it's fine. I have Demolishing Warhammer still. Da, 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 and three mana. Yeah, Demolishing Warhammer is the only thing I can do. Let's just do it. Could be game. Is it game? I'm doing it. That's it. It's game. Let's go. Woo! We did it. Good game. That was fun. All right, we're definitely doing another one. Woo-woo. That was good. Health remaining. I don't really understand this. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Plays of match. Are we the bad guys? Killed the most heroes. Not not too many crazy plays for anybody. That was a good game. Oh, we leveled up. We get new cards. Let's go. Crusader 3. We ranked up. I think Sniper doesn't really want to be my friend. He just wants me on his side, so I won't destroy oh, I everything Tiny. he loves. I love Tiny. Tiny's a fun red card. And you play him in the five spot, and he's super strong. He's good. And you could play him with that Jamoy the Wise guy. A lot of stuff you could do with him. He's cool. He gets really fat. Basically, his active is gain 4-4 permanently, but it happens on turn 3. But still, it's really strong. What's his active? Oh, Toss. And you can throw things, which is probably really buff because they have less TPs now. Screeching Harpy. Spigrin Mischief. Oh, Screeching Harpy has creep movement. That's pretty crazy. Or unit movement, rather, so it could be heroes. Your units are silenced and have three attack. That's good for attacking tower. They made all these cards more viable that weren't viable in 1.0, for sure. Veterans Insight, whenever allied units battle, deal battle damage, give them one armor or health permanently. Okay. This thing card looks crazy. Deal one damage to adjacent, <laughs> adjacent units on both teams. And it's 8-8. Eight, eight. This is like OP. This is strong. An 8-8. Eight, eight. Discard your hand. Give, see, this thing costs 5 is 9-9. Nine, nine. But it's not... It's strong. I mean, this is pretty strong, actually, if you play it like last. Man, both these cards are really big. They're crazy. Alright. 
Incarnation of Salamene. Whenever you play a card or active an ability in this lane, restore three mana. Noted. And Grievel Eggs, of course. For your meme decks. For your meme decks, original. <laughs> Get some Grievel Eggs going. Yeah, <laughs> I called it. I knew you'd like that. <laughs> Yeah, for my meme decks. I think if I tried to make any sort of deck, did I save it? It was a... I basically tried to make a Grievel deck and then just started laughing because it was so weak. <laughs> and I don't even know how big the decks are supposed to be. So we'll wait until I understand this game better. But again, I'm not a big constructed player. I like limited. It's funner for me. Constructed is a, a weird path. Like, this game's doing it correct. You just get access to all the cards. You can play Constructed. That's how Constructed should be. If that's how it always is, I might get in, into Constructed, but when it starts costing money, that's when I'm like, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> is it good? How, how does it work? They just keep respawning them? Because I was looking at the Grievel cards trying to make sense of this. Uh, here. Oh, shit, game started. All right, let's see here. It's my pick first. Ooh, PA is pretty good. PA is really strong, but PA doesn't do tower damage, which is pretty devastating. Um, Sven is pretty good, but kind of situationally, I like PA. I don't have a problem with PA. PA is really good. Coup de Gras is crazy, but PA does so much hero damage, it's hard to knock PA as a first pick, I think, especially with the six armor. makes sense lane clogging must be a thing but i imagine i don't know it's i'd have to see what how it plays out i guess i'm interested necro is a cool card necro is one of those like four or five heroes that i actually kind of like because the removal and this death pulse actually has like pretty good utility i also really like the lichen here and the tidehunter tidehunter gets some hate pugna sucks but pugna gets deserved hate um Necro and Lycan are both viable. I haven't played a lot of Lycan. Lycan's one of those green cards I actually really like. Haha, <laughs> I like it. But Necro is just kind of my color, and I'm not completely sold on a Lycan. Debbie's good. So is Ursa again. I really like Ursa. I think Ursa's so good. Let's get Ursa. Debbie's good too, but not like crazy good. But she is good. And it keeps us in color. But I think Ursa is just one of those really viable laners. And he wants the Ursa, too. Yeah, we can't give him the Ursa. <laughs> yeah, take Centaur. <laughs> See, now he has no attack. I, like, nerfed his attack so much. He has four, two. And I have five. He has three. You see what I'm saying? I'm, like, nerfing his attack. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. That's why it's good to pick in color. So you have options in other colors. And remember, I can always just cut the Ursa. Is it my pick? No. It's like, what's going on here? Basically, four colors in a deck. Okay. All right. Oh, so those Rixes are going to help you. I'm guessing that colorless Rix, the two Rixes, I'm guessing are part of the deck. Oh, Tiny. Give me the Tiny. Get off the Tiny. Get off them. Take the Drow. The stupid Drow. Give me the Tiny. Oh, he got the Tiny. He wants the Jamoy, but he can't have them. Axe is fine for me here, right? Axe is great, I think. Yeah, for sure. Sniper's good too, but we already have like Necro. Not good. Sniper's okay. I should make a tier list. I think I'm ready to make a tier list. I'm just not comfortable with some of the higher heroes. I'll probably just make a tier list for the first like three ranks or something. I'm going to do it. I'll make actual content. <laughs> I gotta make a tier list. I love tier lists. And I feel like I actually kind of have a feeling of what my tier list would be. Oh shit, it's my pick. Shadow Fiend seems like a good pick here. We could PA in the four and Shadow Fiend in the three. I don't like Bristle. Storm Spirit's good. Storm Spirit has five attack. Oh, he took the Storm Spirit. Okay, here's the question. Do I like Bounty Hunter more, Hunter more than PA? I think I do. I really think I do. He took the Bounty Hunter for that reason. I also really like the Sorlock Hound more than the Necro, I think. I'm not sure, though. It's close. This is close. Everything else is fine. This is close. This is actually exactly how I'm going to play this, though. What's his two? Tidehunter? Mm, I could deal with that. So Tidehunter won't kill me. 
Underlord won't kill me. None of them kill me. That's perfect, actually. Okay, good. So Shadow Fiend's good in the three. I'm just making sure if he puts anything in the two, I can deploy on the creep spot. All right, this is fine. I think I want... Mm, yeah, let's store that con. Again, tower ramp is just better than control, in my opinion. I always take tower ramp. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to Ursa in the one right in the middle. Same thing as last time. Sven's going to go right in the middle. Come on, Sven. Oh, I'll close. All right, well, sure. Axe. It doesn't really matter where. I try to get three. Make sure to get three slots. Either here or here. Probably could have put it here. A lot of times I'll try to hide it over there. He's going to put the Tidehunter here. Gotta get Ursa over here. All right, and then Shadow Fiend we're gonna put right here. Perfect. So Shadow Fiend's good here because he's gonna grow his necromancy. He needs to be next to enemies that are dying, which is basically this creep. But yeah, movement's really important. Um, I basically have all this music. Uh, I can give you the source if you'd like. It's on a YouTube link, but it's all like creative open source music because of all the YouTube Twitch stuff going on, but I have to find out how to source like I'm just gonna source it under my stream I think I'm not sure what this song is exactly to be honest with you But I'm thinking about just getting this all the sources and just listing it under my stream because it's all open source stuff They just want you to put the artist I think But I don't think I'm gonna get dinged by YouTube or Twitch for it Because they have to like get a thing from the company but I love listening to classical music as well. All right, so I got Assault Ladders over here. No hesitation, proceed to combat in this lane. That doesn't help me. Wild Boar, four damage when attacking the unit. Would almost be good right here. Overpower, it has to be someone blocking the caster and I don't have anything in that, in any lane. Basically, I'm just gonna Assault Ladder where the Shadow Fiend is over here. That's my only play. I could, oh, I could just wild boar off to the side, like over here. That would do four damage, that sucks. It's not the worst to have this 2-2 two -two dude out on the side over here. Nah, assault ladders is better. Let's do assault ladders. <laughs> it does the same thing, but it's more protected, kind of. It's more consistent. All right, Coupe de Gras we have. We have to discard a non-item card now. So hopefully we'll keep some cheap shit. Like this no hesitation might be good to coup, try to Coupe de Gras. Okay, so this is pretty even. This Sven's killing my Ursa, it's sad. Great shot. I, I like to get gold when I'm under 10 gold. I like this song a lot. Alright, I think I want to PA on the Sven. I could PA on the Tidehunter. It's kind of cool. Or this dude. Kills this guy too, huh? But Sven's annoying. Well, let's kill this guy. It's easier to kill? I'm not sure, actually. Maybe it's better to just leave the Sven mid. I'm gonna go with that strat. Leave Sven mid. <laughs> Alright, Shadow Fiend's still not dying. I got three gold, so now I'm up to 11. Remember, we gotta figure out how to do damage to these towers. Using axes active doesn't help. See, this is a, bat a shitty spot for axe. He's not doing anything. Just lay a damage of three or less health. Repeatable this round. Oh, so I can use this and slay the Chen, huh? Deal one damage to a random enemy twice. So no, I won't bring anything down to three. Never mind. I can't call him by that. 
I could proceed to combat here, assuming he has some trick to kill me. There it is. Sucks I can't use this. <laughs> there. Alright, looks like he's at least letting that thing die over there. I think the only really thing we can do here is Wild Boar. Somewhere. Let's just Wild Boar over here. Keep doing tower damage. It's a, it's a weird play, but it's it kind of helps. Sven can't get to it. It's doing some damage. It's really the only thing we can do. We're keeping that no hesitation for uh, Coupe de Gras. The longer we hold on to the Coupe de Gras, the better. Like, kind of look for a devastating play with a cheap card. It's our best bet. Yeah, but I can't move them though. But correct. And he, he basically targeted it, so they're both attacking him. Yeah, there's no real way to save it. It's fine. He'll get he'll still get the uh, charge from that, I suppose. He's not so he's not so bad off. He'll come off six five, I think. I'm trying to see how it resolves. Oh, maybe not. Huh. I'm not sure. We'll see how it plays out. This card's not horrible. The colorless creep. We could play it anywhere. The Sorlar Khan. We're, I think we're just going to ramp over in the third lane with the Sorlar Khan. It's crazy. Let's upgrade. Round start. Deal three damage to all... One damage to all adjacent enemies. This isn't the worst card. It's a lot of health, though. This barb mail might be really good on the axe down the road. Let's try this. I think this goes good with my axe. Ooh, the red mist mall's good. <laughs> this song's crazy. Alright, so I can also put the sword lock on here. He's gonna tiny over here somewhere. The tiny has active ready, too. I think we need to sword lock on here. Do 8 damage here. Yeah, this makes sense. <laughs> Dude, that was stupid. Why would you do that? Let's coop to grab the tiny. <laughs> oh, a grievel for you. Play effect taunt. Why would you do that? Well, he's gonna use the act. If we coop to ground before he can use the active. Then he won't be able to use the active, and we'll really fuck that tiny. So we really want a Coupe de Grom. It's worth basically any sort of card exchange. And we don't have anything that crazy good. Oh, come on, Limit, let us Coupe de Grom. <laughs> don't use the tiny active. Don't use it. Don't use the tiny active. Play a card. Thank you for explaining that. I don't. Did it not say that on the card? Oh, death effect. Hello. For some reason, I didn't read the gold words of that. Thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate it. I was confused about that. That's fine. We can still Coupe de Gras. We did it. We did it. Oh, I want to Coupe de Gras this Fen now. We can still bar mail, actually. So Coupe de Gras the Tiny? Ho ho! Not my equal. So this will kill the t the Sven. It won't save Sorla Khan though. Seems fine. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, steal the creep. Go for it. All right, Sven dead now. You won't survive. Perfect. All right, this is going pretty good. We're doing a lot of damage in these two lanes, as you can see. So we're basically just gonna give up over here. Tidehunter has his active. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're gonna let that happen. Um, we have 18 gold. I don't like how this is such little damage, but we'll keep, we'll, we'll get this. Healing Blade's good. I like Healing Blade. 
those two things. Alright, so just Ursha, Ursha so Shadow Fiend in the mid here. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Seems fine, right? Any particular reason we want to split them up? Yep. Put Honor Guard right in the middle there. Perfect. There we go. Now, we might want to save Honor Guard for next turn to taunt. This is good. This one actually really, really great. See, again, the key is he has little attack. He can't do damage to my towers. So he's just kind of like floundering while I'm wrecking his towers. And I'm, I don't have a lot of attack. I have less than I would like. But it's not a horrible situation. And that's why I like things like this Sorla Khan coming out next turn. To ensure that I have enough damage. Perfect. Easies. Alright, so we could Honor Guard right now to draw the damage off the Shadow Fiend. It doesn't really particularly help us. We can also Healing Blade the Shadow Fiend at some point. Can't Culling Blade or uh, Overpower. This doesn't really seem to help us. We can have Coup de Gras again as well. I think maybe just Coup de Gras the Underlord. Shadow Fiend will get a charge. <laughs> yeah. With the Orchid? Let's go. See ya. See ya. <laughs> oh, and it killed my Grievel. No offense to Grievels. <laughs> I did the uh-oh. Look at how good this is going. He really thought, look, with the Assault Ladders, he put the Tidehunter in the Chen, stole the creep, he was ready to go. That was a great play. So maybe just Healing Blade the PA? To do a little more damage over here? It's too bad we can't Honor Guard. Toss. Wow, look at this. This will come in handy. I still don't die, huh? Gotta love it. This one pretty good for me. Sweet. Nice. So down to 9 and 10. He only has this one down to 17. Red Mist Mall is, I think, amazing on us right now. So let's get that. Perfect. We have exactly 15 gold. Let's go. So basically that wins us the game in a lot of ways. Let's put that um, here. We'll put the Sorlock on here. Right? No. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put it here. It should... Oh, no. It's a card effect on the play. I did that incorrectly. It's okay. It's not a huge deal. I was thinking that the play effect would work with deploy. It's not a deploy effect. It's a play effect. So that was my fault. I apologize to everybody. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Fiend thing kind of sucks. It's really all about his attack, huh? This is fine, though. He's doing good. I think this is good. Yeah, I should have soared a lot over here for sure, but I don't think it's gonna be like that bad. My victory is at hand. Look, I killed this fan again. <laughs> All right, so now we can calling blade slay an enemy. See ya. <laughs> Your defenses mean nothing to me. All right, so I can repeat that this round. So might want a shadow fiend active. I can get one of these down to three, right? Correct. I think I understand this game. And then we red miss Maul in the third lane, and we win. Okay, that doesn't help you. Yes, it does, because I can't use the active. Okay, adjacent enemies have minus two armor. It's bigger. Okay, overpower him, right? Yeah. 
there some reason not to do that? No, we need to overpower. Overpower? Alright, so now he has much less armor. He's getting six attack. And now basically I just red miss them all over here. This worked out strangely well because of this barb mail. Creepily well. And if he does add armor to Sven, I could red miss them all the Sorla Khan, and that would be fine. That was crazy. Oh, I can Calling Blade. What am I talking about? I didn't realize his health would go down that much. Thank you for pointing that out. I do think I just realized that, but yeah, you kind of triggered it. I think it was you. Look at I this. Do. He should know I have Calling Blade. Right? That was his bad? Look at that. Now I'm doing seven damage over here, and I could Red Miss Maul. Let's go. Oh, Red Miss Maul, the Sorla Khan to kill his Fen? Is that better? I think it is better, huh? Yeah, I'll just Red Miss Maul the Sorla Khan. Or save Red Miss Maul. Or just Red Miss Maul over here. Get the TP. That's the play. Okay, so we Red Miss Maul the Axe. No. Red Miss Maul the PA? No. Axe. Alright, oh, so now we kill the tower. We'll get a TP scroll. And then we'll be able to TP one of these guys middle. Alright, and we'll have 24 gold. No weapon I cannot wield. Or we could just chill here. Deploy everything here next turn. So we'll have three deploys next turn. He doesn't have enough damage to like really make me worried. Blink dagger, obviously. Obviously blink dagger. Awesome. Uh, yeah. It's it's just already down to two. The pig the pig takes it. You know what I mean? Like we have two blinks over. I think this is gonna be fine. Here we go. We'll path of the cunning right here. Or we could path of the cunning over here. Nah. Nah. <laughs> it's not the worst play. It's really not. Let her get it down to like 20. Everything's killing mid. I mean, it might have. I don't know. I don't know what, exactly what you're trying to say from last turn. <laughs> Ready to fight. Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. I don't think... Yeah, I think you have to hit the tower. Was I hitting the tower? Would that have won it? I guess you're right. I guess I didn't consider that. There's just too much going on. <laughs> yeah, I think I misplayed that. I think you're right, but I have to re-see it. Was there, did I not have mana? No, I didn't have mana. Is that right? I don't think I had mana. No, no, I did have mana, because I did it. I'm Path of the Cunning here, right? Just to ensure damage here? I think so. Yeah, and we'll Plague Hex it too. Plague Hex seems maybe better. Also, on our guard. Well, Alright, let's just do it like this. Let's blink the PA here. Doesn't matter if Sven kills me. There we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, I did that wrong. Because <laughs> of the siege. <laughs> it's fine. I don't think it matters at all. And I can still honor guard something? Not really. Okay. I'll destroy our enemies. I think we want to plague hex here. And we can activate our axe div here. Okay. So we're definitely going to have to bring the siege mo it's not the worst thing in the world to play this on the axe because what happens is we get the red miss mall back sweet, next turn and we'll be able to allocate where we use it if we do ever even make it the next turn which i don't think we are with axes active but yeah we're gonna blink axe over into this position and he's gonna battle all adjacent enemies he is going to die but we're gonna play on our guard before that he gave up <laughs> Just like, fuck this shit. Alright, good game. Well played. Yeah, I should have won. Really? Yeah, let's try to figure it out. Is it here? Can we see? You're gonna show us? It's okay, whatever. Whoa. That was trippy. Alright, we won.
I didn't get to see what... Oh, let's check our rank over here. Crusader 4. All right, we went up one more star. I don't know what the ranks are exactly, so I don't even really know what's been our record lately. See, there was a time... Here we go. So that's where I was losing. Then I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 9, 10, and 2, 11, and 3, 4... 13 and 4, I think, if I counted that right. So it looks like my rank's still going up. I kind of went even here, though. You can see. So I've been stalemating for the last six matches. Which you can see on YouTube, where there's a link under my stream. Please check it out, like, subscribe, yada yada. I'm going to be doing a lot of artifact content. I think I actually want to make like a tier list, like a non-gameplay video. I'm learning. I have to learn things. Alright, we're playing one more. Uno mas. I really like that tiny. I like this tiny a lot. I like the Sorlock on too. I think I... Oh, I can pick both, huh? Okay, because I can pick both, I'm going to pick the tiny first. Interesting. I cannot pick both. I forgot that the pack reset, but it's fine. It doesn't really matter. I still like the tiny. The question is, do I like timber? I don't like these cards too much. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of both of these. But uh, Bounty Hunter... Lady Ashton's okay. Timbersaw. I think I want to stay in color. They're pretty close. I like Timbersaw a lot. It's pretty strong. Ooh, Ursa. Timbersaw is really mobile, and mobility, which is Timbersaw's active, is very much increased because there's not TPs, as many TPs as a patch ago. Basically, you have to get 15 damage on the tower to get a TP scroll. Now you have to kill the tower to get a TP scroll, and that makes movement such more, more valuable and more in demand than before. And Timbersaw has great movement. Timbersaws can be a 2 and block, like be in the 2 position, and then or in the 5 position. The problem is Tiny is really good in the 5 position. Axe is good, Bloodseeker is good. I am trying to consider red, but Axe doesn't do that much damage. Timbersaw could be cut. I like Bloodseeker a lot though, so let's just take the Bloodseeker. I like Bloodseeker a ton. I'm not a big fan of... Is he going all blue? Let's go. Go all blue. Calvin and Hobbes. Amazing. You, I could read Calvin and Hobbes at any time. Uh, even to this day. It's easy, easy, easily one of the most readable things in the world. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to ignore you. I think average Dota medal is somewhere between Archon 4th and... Lod All right. Yeah. I feel like I, it would be an easy Reddit search, but I don't... I keep pretty much in, in tune with the Reddit. I'm, not, I'm just not sure. I, yeah, I could look at what the ranks are to see how high I am. It's probably the same. It was Harold, I think, before. No, I won't ignore you. I can't ignore you. It's me and you, buddy. On YouTube, they're going to be confused, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, I got to pick. I'm stupid. Debbie's fine. I love. I like Debbie a lot. Debbie's weird, but Debbie's good in the three or the four. I definitely think Debbie's going to be good in the three here, actually. If I can't find another Bounty Hunter PA. Animage might be really good now with the movement for the same reasons as the Timber. Pugna sucks. Storm Spirit seems good for the same reasons, too. I like Phantom Lancer a lot, now that I understand it more. I don't know what would be better here. I think the Storm Spirit would be better against an all-blue deck, because movement would be better. Phantom Lancer and Creep Push, I think, would be worse. Oh, he wants this Ogre, I bet. I'm taking the Storm Spirit here. It's close. It's close. It's really close. It's close. Okay. <laughs> Sven and Sniper are both good, but I don't need a five spot here. So let's take the Sven. Consider Sven. I don't think I'm taking Sven here. God Strength is good, though. The three permanent. It's just kind of expensive in a card slot. Do I like Sven more than Storm Spirit? I could Debbie in the four. I could Sven in the four. Sven in the four isn't horrible, huh? Then Debbie in the three ramp up her armor? I think I like this. I like Storm Spirit, though. That's my problem right now. Do I like... Oh, I think I like Storm Spirit more than Debbie. Okay. Okay. We could Sven in the three. Yeah. We'll Sven in the three. Because we don't have a real, like, strong attack thing. But Sven will get free attack. Okay, this is good. This is good. Do 
I want Debbie here in the four. Nah, let's do Debbie over Storm Spirit. No. Mm. Yeah, I have enough movement. Okay, let's do it. Let's keep the Debbie. <sighs> it's close. I like Phantom Lancer. It's close. I'm worried about them clogging the lanes. I want to make sure I have damage. That's why I don't like this fan. There's so much. It's hard, but I think I. I don't think this. Sh this shouldn't be hard. This really shouldn't be hard at all. All right, we're Bloodseeker right in the middle. Is he gonna do this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna do this thing. No, he's not. Interesting. Okay, I'm good with this. This is good. This is good. The five damage. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate you very much. Thanks for hanging out with me and playing some artifact. I appreciate you. All right, deploy right. Timber is my two, for sure. Is he going over here with the creep? Do I want to avoid that? I think I do. Nope, he went over here with the creep. Interesting. All right, this is perfect. So the question is, do we go for the creep or the hero? The hero. There we go. Perfect. Cool. So if we can increase Sven's attack with God strength, that'd be good. Aw. All right, I can clear the deck at just not as good as God strength right here, for sure. I could Bronze Legionnaire on the Earthshaker and kill it next turn. <laughs> should I do that? I think I should. That's insane. Oh man, I need to do that, huh? I could kill this Prelix, but honestly, it doesn't matter. And the Creep is going to spawn here next turn, so I'm going to kill them both. Bronze Legionnaire here is... Oh, I can't because it's not red. That sucks. Deal four damage on attacking a unit. I could do that here, but now it'll kill it. Also, it would be good right here. Alright, let's just uh, clear the deck then. Right here. Right? No, I think it's better to wait and put Bronze Legionnaire over here. I think that was good. Okay, I'm more happy with this now. The three damage is I good over here. I understand my orders. You do understand. Good. Uh, hopefully he has more card memes. Never admit defeat. <laughs> good. I like this guy. We're close to victory. <laughs> no, but that's okay. Alright, we're doing, again, we're doing good power damage in e every lane, which is great. And that's going to be the theme of this game, which is why all blue is insane. All right, let's upgrade. get the gold. If we're below 10, I like to get the gold. All right, so now we have Tiny deployed. Did I really mess it up that bad? Why is Tiny my four? <laughs> oh, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. All right, we could put Tiny here in front of the Earthshaker. Seems fine. I mean, Tiny... <laughs> mistakes were made. How is this? How did I do that? Does he have a card that like swaps my deploy or something? <laughs> yeah, I used to do that. But uh, yeah, tower damage. Tower damage is number one on the list of priorities for me. If I have to make a decision. It's tower, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, I get it. The creep pressure is good, but it doesn't necessarily do tower damage. It's good. But this is guaranteed three damage that he has to resolve. Next turn, I'll have Tiny active. <laughs> this is great. Why is he doing this? Summon a zombie in the closest spot. I don't even need to clear to deck punch it. Choose caster and adjacent enemy. Swap caster in front of that enemy. They battle. That would almost be good to go over here, but Sven's not dying. This is going good for me. I think I just pass and keep initiative. I could wild boar. Unlike the Vanessa over here. It'd live and kill it next turn. What does this do? Yeah. Let's just do that, right? I think that's a good play. See, this is good. It, may, it makes her do... I want to do something. My people will defend the Ancient till our dying breath. Like, even if she uses a card to fix that, it's fine. So she reduced the mana cost of two... Random non-item cards in her hand by one. Change the color to blue. 
<laughs> Such a weird card. What's her thing? Void Theft. Choose caster. Choose a non-item card from your opponent's hand and create a blue copy. Right, right. I played with that before. Okay. Give two damage to a unit. Give it feeble. So I could do that over here. The boar would live. There's really no reason to do this anywhere. So we'll just hold on to no accident for now. Seems fine. We're good. We keep initiative. I think that's probably going to be better next turn. That way we can make sure that Tiny doesn't die to keep initiative. Do that. Every time I see that Calvin and Hobbes logo. Man. <laughs> Wait. I could have done more tower damage over here. Correct. But I think it's okay. And also the zombie, so I guess maybe not. But again, I would you you're ultimately correct. But this is still a good play. Look, he's still alive. It's going pretty good over there. That's why I wasn't trying to fix things. Just trying to justify it. I wasn't trying to spend resources to fix a non look how good it's going over here, you know? Alright, let's see. <laughs> Summon a grieve leg. I know what you want. Disarm, closest creep. Might be okay. On like a timber. Don't seem like the worst. Oh yeah, we got Red Mist Maul, let's go. Don't even have to read the other stuff. I knew that the armor was bad and the other thing was questionable at best. All right, so we want to get the Debbie on the tower. We're playing this card so bad on round, making our last deploy. That was just horrible, but it looks like it might work out. So we're gonna put this with the timber, it looks like. Again, on tower, doing that sweet, sweet tower damage. This Legion's doing his great job over here. Just three damage chipping away. And Timber has mobility. This, is, again, is going perfect. We're just going to ignore this first lane now. Sven's over there doing a great job. Red Mist Maul we have deploy. All this is great. This is just so good. We're going to go 3 and 0 today. Did I win all, both first two? Am I delusional? No, I lost one, right? I'm delusional. I'm 3 and 3 in my last six matches. Let's just keep it at that. Tower explosion. This is going to be great. Deal two damage to cast adjacent enemies. Dude, I could do that right here. There's just no reason. Again, no reason to really. Punch it? No reason to. Alright, so Red Mist Mall. We're definitely going to try to put no accident. Would probably be really good right here, so they at least trade. What does this do? Given an enemy and its neighbors minus three armor, that's okay. So yeah, let's no accident this Skywrath. So they trade. If I was gonna do an all blue deck. It would definitely include Earthshaker, or no, not Earthshaker, I'm sorry, Ogre Magi, um, Lena, and Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden would be my three, or my one. Ogre Magi would be my two. Lena would be my three or one. And then I have no idea what my four or five would be. In fact, it might not even be... It might not even be blue, but that's the only way I can imagine blue working. And then you just gotta get crazy spell combos. Well then. So, what we can do, right? He has no mana. So we can send Timbersaw over here for one mana. He'll do four more damage, get up to 13. Then we just red miss mole. Bounce allies or shaker to us. Nope, he has no allies over here and no mana. All right, so here we go. Just send Timbersaw over here. It's gonna kill this creep. And then we're gonna Red Mist Mullet. He has, oh, he has the item? Oh, Stonehawk Cloak, okay. That's fine. Yeah, and then we're gonna Red Mist Maul over here. Doesn't really matter on which. So let's spread out the damage, I guess. A weapon, good, good. <laughs> Good, good. And this uh, is going to make my Bloodseeker super strong. This Stonehall Cloak on Vanessa 
because now it has minus eight health after this turn. So he's gonna have plus eight on thirst. So he's gonna be up to plus 13 next turn. Let's see if I get that right, if it'll be plus 13 next turn. Go plus 13, yes. Dude, we're figuring this game out, let's go. All right, now we also have blink scroll. The magicking wall is great. A lot of stuff here is great. We could upgrade shop. Let's just upgrade shop. He doesn't have any tower improvements anyway. So yeah. We'll upgrade shop. Nothing I really like here. You could take the magic game to secure the two, but it's okay. We can buy something next turn if we need to. We don't have to get too excited here. So tiny. <laughs> back, back from the ashes. We're probably just going to put him on the sky wrath, I suppose. I, I don't know. I could actually just put him and do tower damage. Or we could just put ramp tower here. This seems fine, huh? Just go mid. I think this is fine. He's going to put the prelix mid, right? All out mid. We can even send the Sven over just for vanity. And whirling death him. Yeah, let's do it. Watch this shit. This would be great. Do I have initiative? No, he does shit. Don't kill my Sven. <laughs> Sven's coming over here. Oh my god, tech east. <laughs> Offer your throat and save us all some time. <laughs> play all right so let's do the two damage over here whirling death <laughs> and again everything is fine he's doing no damage over here looks like this guy's not stunned anymore that's good giving it minus three it battles its adjacent enemies Deal three damage to a unit and three damage to a tower. I could do that right here. On this bird. Toss. Choose a caster, move a unit to an empty slot within range. <laughs> now we don't need to do that. So let's, uh. Yeah. We're going to. Knives. This bird. <laughs> to do more tower damage. Only three more, Your too. But it'll, it'll more importantly, keep the Bloodseeker the alive. The Ancient's will shall ah. not be denied. So now we can just move this fen. That's fine. Just move this fen. Yep. Here? Yeah, here's fine. So he'll do damage to the Earthshaker. That's fine. Perfect. So yeah, he's doing two damage in this lane. <laughs> doing 17 over here. Everything is fine. Should we just deploy the Debbie over here? I feel like that's the case. I want more attack. Healing Blade's good though. Let's get the Healing Blade. It'll be good on the blood, the Sven or the Bloodseeker. If we need to. Alright. He's going to do his uh, ultimate, isn't he? So let's put this over here because of the ultimate. <laughs> did I even get to use the tiny active? I don't think I ever did. <laughs> did I? <laughs> uh, no. Poor tiny. He keeps killing him. Ooh. Whenever Stonehall battles unit, draw the next creep card from your deck. That card has one more armor and costs two less. <gasps> Dude, that's so cool. Dude, let's put that in front of the Earth Shaker. It would be, this is a card you want to put right in front of the creeps. But it's expensive overall, costs five, and then you gotta play the other cards. It does no tower damage, other than the creeps you draw, which is good. Let's see how it is, silence stunned, I see how it is. I totally see how this is all is. All right, we need to tower explosion. Deal three damage to a unit, three damage to the tower. So we're doing that in the Skywrath. Bye, Skywrath. All right, I have two mana. So I can Healing Blade, Sven. He's silenced, not, not uh, disarmed. The longer I stand, 
The longer I can bring the faithful. Does it really doesn't matter which I do this on, so since Debbie has more, I'll do it on this Sven. I was trained to use this. Okay. It's gonna kill you. Why would you do that? That can't be good for you. <laughs> You'll face a knight of the vigil. <laughs> what idiot wishes to lose their life to Sven? <laughs> you aren't ready for what I have in store for you. You made a bad move. <laughs> the game's letting me troll. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't been doing that. He has to bounce allies to a slot in this lane. See what I'm saying? He could play an ability to, to it, which he did, but it's all working out. Fisher. There's Fisher. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> womp womp. This is going well. So he's winning this third lane. That's totally fine. Oh, Claymore. Oh, we're so close. Five gold away. We should have played better. Hook net, stupid. Four staff's not bad. Could secure us some damage. All right, what do you think? Which one? Did they change this to minus one armor as well? Holy shit! All right, let's split it up. Timber has move, so we'll put him here, and we'll put tiny. Here, Let's see how this goes. Being creative, I don't, I'm not exactly sure. This is good. All right, let's upgrade the tiny right away, so he doesn't remove them. There we go. So now we want a four staff probably tiny. We also have toss, so we can basically tiny and toss something. We can also stone hall conscriptor. Spring the trap. Play two centaur poachers into the first two empty spaces in any lane. Let's just do this. Yeah. Um, which lane? This will kill two creeps. Yeah, let's do it right here. Oh, that's devastating. Oh my god. That's devastating. Yeah. <laughs> da -da. It is super effective. <laughs> Yo, I nailed it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You're a duelist worth dueling. All right, this and is game right? I can still force staff over here just to ensure, but let's just pass to keep initiative, I believe. Remember, I can send timber saw over here. There's so much I can still do. Okay, that doesn't help. Let's just pass. As long as we're winning, we're gonna keep passing. I want to keep response with my cards. He still has three mana. I don't think he has a solution here. That seems kind of far fetched. He'd have to block two things here. No. Interesting though, huh? Push <laughs> it. Dude, I'm ruined for you. I'm ruined for you here, but I can just wipe them all with the timber. He must know that. Like, I almost want to just do it to show that I can do it. Yeah. I mean, he must know. Can I not do that now? Oh, I have no mana. I'm stupid. It's fine. Let me just force stuff over here. <laughs> He's gonna be mad. Got it. Good game. Well played. We won in the second lane there. Almost won in this one. GG. Alright, well played. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it. That was a lot of fun. Toss Debbie mid. <laughs>
That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed drafting tonight. Um, I'll try to be back on tomorrow night. night. Make sure to check out my YouTube underneath. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. That was super fun. Oh, we got to open the pack. Do we get a pack? No. Oh, we got a rank? Hold on. Hold on. We'll look. No. I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> anyway, GG's guys. Well played.